Hi everyone, um, this is Justice from Just Auto Chanel and today um, I'm going to be starting a, a series of different uh, auto news that's going on around the world and um, I've decided to add this to my channel because it helps in uh, uh, alerting people who visit my channel or who are on YouTube to know some of the major things that's happening in the automotive industry. And um, what we are going to start with today is the new 2020 Toyota Supra Recall that is going on right now. Uh, so as we all know, the Toyota Supra, it's, uh, it's a Toyota, uh, but uh, has like, um, a BMW uh, Z4 engine and the interior looks like the BMW. So uh, Toyota decided to build like uh, a super uh, fast car, but failed to use their own system, their own engine transmission to really put this together. Now BMW is recalling uh, the seat belt, and according to motor1.com let me read what's on their website it says on september 12th the national highway traffic safety administration announced campaign number 19v65300 um, which is kind of a voluntary uh safety uh recall involving the seatbelt guide loop mount for the 2020 toyota supra which may have been uh, welded improperly. The good news, only seven vehicles are affected and four are already taken care of. The bad news, the record didn't come from Toyota, but BMW. You know, this is what happens when uh, car companies or manufacturers uh, try to uh, start what other people are already doing for example toyota didn't really need to produce uh, uh, a fast car they already make reliable cars but uh they wanted to like start producing uh something uh that people really need which is the toyota supra and for me if you give me the new toyota supra and the old toyota supra I prefer the old Toyota Supra because it looks original. It doesn't have any other car manufacturer name attached to it. So this is going to really uh, affect Toyota. I believe it's going to affect the sale of these Toyota Supras because I love Toyotas, but the Supra is the only Toyota I am not going to buy as an individual. And what do you think about this video? What do you think about this Toyota Supra? Do you have any comments? What's your thought about this Toyota Supra? What do you think Toyota should have done differently? What do you think Toyota should do? Do you think Toyota should to, to, to stop using BMW and try to like design their own engine to preserve their name that is, uh, that is related to reliability instead of trying to share a platform with a car uh, company, BMW, that, uh, that is known to produce cars that's not very reliable. So thank you very much for watching this video. And if you find it helpful in any way, uh, please leave a comment, uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, press the notification button so that when I post future videos, you'll be able to see them. I will try and be coming uh, out with auto news uh, once in a week um, for you who are my regular uh, viewers and my new viewers. Thank you very much and stay blessed.